Hi everybody, this is Nicholas of Packets. In the previous video, I showed you how to deploy a vCenter appliance automatically using Ansible. Today we are going to deploy the NSXT manager using Ansible as well. Uh, Ansible is a very good tool when you want to deploy an infrastructure, right? Uh, I'm using other tools as well, like uh, the Terraform to deploy my networking configuration for my tier zero, tier one, but we'll see that in a later video. Today is all about Ansible and how can I deploy my NSXT manager on, uh, on my vCenter. So my, my, my vCenter is already installed, it's ready to go. Um, everything has been configured from a storage and networking standpoint. Um, so uh, now we are going to deploy, as I mentioned, NSXT uh, using Ansible. So the goal, as you can see here on this, uh, on this slide, is to deploy the NSXT manager and to do uh, the basic configuration uh, from an infrastructure standpoint that will, that will allow us to deploy our tier zero or tier one and all the, network, all the networking objects uh, for NSXT, right? So uh, we're going to deploy an NSXT manager. We are going to register the vCenter as a compute manager in NSXT. We are going to apply a license, right? That will be needed. Uh, we are going to configure two uplink profiles, uh, one uplink profile for the compute servers and one compute and, and one, uplink, one uplink profile for the, um, for the edge nodes. We are also going to configure um, IP pools, two IP pools, one for the edges um, and one for the compute nodes. Also, uh, the transport zone, we are going to deploy um, two transport zones, one VLAN transport zone for the uplinks to the top of racks and one transport zone for the overlays. Um, and then we are going to install all the NSXT VIBs uh, on, the, on our ESXi host. Uh, we are going to deploy six NSXT edges. Why six? Because for my, for my need, I need six. Uh, you can deploy one, two, it depends on, on what you are trying to simulate or, or to deploy. But in my case, I would need um, uh, six NSX, NSXT edges with uh, um, a three edge of the cluster. And, uh, and then in order to provide connectivity to my uh, physical network, I'm going to deploy a uh, five Cumulus VX uh, appliance, virtual appliance um, that will be used uh, in order to uh, do some BGP peering with uh, the tier zero in NSXT. So, it will look like that. So we are, as I mentioned, first we need to create the NSXT manager right here. Uh, and then uh, we'll need to register the vCenter as a compute host. We are going to apply the license in, uh, in NSXT. Two pools, right? Using, and, uh, and as I mentioned here in the description, I put a, that is provisioned by Ansible and it will be. Uh, so two IP pools, one for the tap, uh, one for the compute, and one for the edges. Uh, and then we are going to install uh, all the NSX VIBs on the, on the transport node on my two ESXi. But if you have 10 or 100 ESXi, it will do the same as well. I will deploy six edge nodes, right? You can see the six edge nodes that will be installed in the management and edge of the cluster that is composed of actually one ESXi only in my lab and we'll install and we'll, um, uh, we'll put this uh, six edge node into uh, three, three different uh, edge clusters, right? Two edge transport nodes per edge cluster. How we'll do that? We'll do that using Ansible and here is the code. I have my main playbook right here that will invoke uh, multiple playbooks, right? Uh, I have my viable files right here that uh, I'm using in order to pass all the all the viables. Uh, in my lab, I'm using that uh, uh, to store my password as well. This is not the best practice, but it's just for a lab environment. I just have a generic password for my uh, lab environment uh, just to test. But obviously, in production, what you want to do is to deploy uh, a vault uh, so that you can store your password and your license pretty securely. So the first playbook will, will be to deploy the NSXT manager. You can see the, uh, the code right here on the right hand side of the, of, uh, of the, of the screen. Uh, I'm, I'm using the VMware deploy OVF uh, the template, um, Ansible module, sorry, uh, where I have all my variable here. So for example, my NSXT password is in my Ansible file right here. 
right? And uh, and then it will check the um, it will check if the manager uh, is is online and up and running. And uh, as soon as uh, as soon as we have that, we'll uh, move forward with the other uh, with the other playbooks that we have here in the main playbook. Let's do it. Uh, I won't talk a lot, so obviously I will um, I will fast forward the video, and we can see at the end uh, what's going on. So I'm going to. Uh, so this is my container where I have pretty much all my uh, tools for DevOps. So let me let let's start. Uh, and small playbook, and the name of the playbook is deploy. Type my pseudo password, and there we go. Let's see if it's working. So we have a warning that that's fine. We have some invalid characters, but that's fine. Um, and so now it should start. It should deploy the OVF right there. Exactly. So I'll fast forward the video when we have everything up and running. And uh, so I can I can demonstrate that uh, it's working and then and and then that we have everything uh, ready um, in order to host our uh, networking objects in NSX. So it looks like uh, all the playbook were uh, processed correctly by my container. We were able to deploy our six uh, NSXT edges, our five Cumulus appliance using Ansible, the NSXT manager, obviously, and to do the basic configuration on this uh, NSXT manager. So first, let's see if, uh, if we have um, uh, the top of racks uh, up and running. So just for your information, it took approximately uh, two hours to deploy uh, all the virtual machine that you can see here, uh, the edges and the NSXT manager uh, took most of the time, obviously. Um, so, but I have an old lab, uh, but it's pretty good for what I need. So, so yep, I can I can ping all my Cumulus VX appliance. That's good. That's good. Let's see. Let's see in um, NSXT. So I already logged in, so that, that's why I don't need to log in right now. So we can see in the system over, overview GUI that we have uh, three transport nodes, six uh, edge transport nodes. We can have a, have a look at the status of the edge. So we have three clusters, cluster one, edge cluster one. In, in this cluster, we have uh, edge one and edge two, and we have a tunnel between them, right? We have multiple tunnels uh, between them actually two between the tab. We, we can see that the IP pools have been successfully deployed uh, using that um, and uh, the IP have been assigned to each of the of the edges, right? Um, so we can see obviously the edge clusters. The so first let's have a look at the compute manager. So we can see the vCenter has been registered. And if we have a look at the servers into that cluster into the compute cluster we can see that nsx has been uh, configured and installed on these uh, two esxi servers and using that profile right here that has been also configured that be also provisioned using ansible we don't have any tunnels right now because we need virtual machines uh, that are up and running in in order to have the, the um, all the tunnels between uh, the transport nodes right um so I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a quick uh, demo on how can you deploy automatically the basic infrastructure that you need in order to run an SX. The next step will be to deploy all the networking objects, the tier zero, the tier one, the segments, uh, the virtual machine, obviously, but that's on the vCenter side. And uh, so we will do that in, in the next batch of videos. 
uh, I will also put the, the, the source code on GitHub and I will put the, the link uh, in the description. Let me know in the comment if you enjoyed that video, if you would like to uh, have more content like this and if you have any, uh, any, um, any ideas on uh, what should be coming next. Right, uh, thank you very much for watching and if you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact me and I will, I will do my best to answer your questions. Thank you very much guys, bye bye.